Well, 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 the CEO of EA, Andrew Wilson, is back at it again with another earnings call, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, this time he did mention Battlefield, and he had some very interesting things to say about Battlefield, and that is what we'll be going over in detail, because there's actually quite a lot to break down. So let's get into it. If you enjoy the content and want to watch Delta Force content, Battlefield content, or just FPS in general, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on. I also stream every single day at twitch.tv slash enders and this YouTube channel at the very same time. Follow the stream first link in the description. And of course, thank you guys for watching the video. Now then, what did Mr. CEO of EA, Andrew Wilson, have to say? Quote, as season seven of Battlefield 2042 wraps up, one thing is clear. Each season of the game has shown our team's unique ability to listen, learn, and draw inspiration from the community to deepen connection with the franchise. Players continue to be passionate about the Battlefield franchise, which has surpassed over 25 million players over the past 12 months. The community is energized by what our teams are doing and excited for what comes next. This is not just one of our top priorities, it is also one of the most ambitious projects in our history, we have brought together the very best team coupled with the resources and technology they need to deliver an epic Battlefield experience. I am excited about what is to come next, as we continue to make progress across our strategic priorities. As I look to Q2, and then he talks about EA Sports College Football, and no one really cares about that. So there is certainly a lot to unpack here, but before I do that, I want to direct your attention to another statement made by Andrew Wilson in a previous earnings call, this time speaking about Battlefield 2042 before they even showed the game. And I'll put it up on screen here, you can briefly, you know, pause the video and read through it. The messaging here is literally the exact same. And the point I'm trying to make here is, their words mean nothing, okay? They don't mean anything, their words are as hollow as hollow can be. So just remember everybody, don't pre-order, but I want to jump back to the recent statement and break this down. The first thing I want to talk about is Andrew Wilson stating that the Battlefield team has a unique ability to listen, learn, and draw inspiration from the community. And they basically say that they've proven this over all of the seasons of Battlefield 2042. This only has a shred of truth to it. There is absolutely no doubt that Battlefield 2042 got better over time, but is that really impressive? Like, it's kind of expected to happen anyway. Then if you jump to the beginning of the second paragraph, Andrew Wilson states that players continue to be passionate about the Battlefield franchise. While I understand this to be true, if you look in any of my videos comment sections, if you look in really any Battlefield content creators comment sections, I would say the majority of Battlefield players are actually really terrified about the next Battlefield's release. They're very worried, traumatized even. I would say the passion is at an all-time low because you've killed the passion with the past two catastrophic releases. Then the statement after this, where he states that apparently Battlefield has surpassed 25 million players in the past 12 months. Let's, let's think about this for a second. Obviously, he's talking about all platforms, meaning, you know, PC, console. He's talking about all games combined together, so, you know, Battlefield 1, BF4, Battlefield 3, all the Battlefield games, but 25 million players over the past year? I, I don't believe that, to be completely honest with you. And I understand some of the games are on Game Pass, and some of the games have had free-to-play stints, but you really have to consider 25 million players? Like, where are these players? I don't see them. And the reaction to this information was really funny on Reddit and Twitter because it got some people crunching some numbers, and people were throwing around numbers everywhere between 50,000 and 68,000 unique players every single day for a year straight in order to reach this statistic. So just to be completely honest, I'm taking shit that never happened for $500 and uh, give me a daily double on that as well. Andrew Wilson continues by stating once again that apparently the community is energized by what our teams are doing and excited for what comes next. Um, Andrew Wilson, I know you're the CEO, so you're not really aware of anything that goes on, but you haven't even told us what you're doing. You, you've literally, you, we haven't seen anything at all. So how can we possibly be excited for what's coming? You, we, we don't know what's coming, Andrew Wilson. And I will state once again, I don't think anyone's really excited. I think people are terrified. I genuinely do. I know I am. I'm absolutely terrified for the next Battlefield game. And I think the comment section of this video will echo that sentiment. Now, the next few statements by Andrew Wilson are probably the most important in the entire few paragraphs here. He goes on to state that Battlefield is their top priority, okay? 
quote, this is not just one of our top priorities. So he's basically saying this is like the priority. Battlefield is top, top priority right now. So, okay, okay, fine. You can make that massive statement, but we will believe it when we see it. And he also says, it is also one of the most ambitious projects in our history. The last possible word I want to hear in relation to the next Battlefield game is ambitious, okay? Last I checked, the last time you were ambitious was 2042, and the quote-unquote ambitious things you did, like the tornado and doubling the player count, which resulted in the worst maps of all time, yeah, last I checked, your ambition really hasn't been located in the right places, so maybe just play it safe, right? Realistically, they should be playing the next Battlefield's development so safe that we can predict exactly what the game is going to be before it even comes out. Like, it should be so, so predictable and safe. But as I stated previously, maybe this is just, you know, some BS marketing corporate talk and the game maybe will turn out to be pretty predictable and exactly what we wanted and fairly safe. Only time will tell. Now, on to the very last paragraph here. Uh, quote, We have brought together the very best team coupled with the resources and technology they need to deliver an epic Battlefield experience. Okay, so in the past few sentences, he has said that Battlefield is a top priority, it's the most ambitious project in their history, and they have the best teams coupled with time and technology. These are not light statements, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how these age, because I am just so interested in how this ages. Oh my god. Reading the uh, statement he made in another earnings call about 2042, reading that in hindsight was unbelievable. So I just can't imagine how this is going to age. Touching on the fact that he stated that they've brought together the very best team, coupled with the resources and technology, last I checked, one of your biggest developers, Marcus Leto, literally left... EA, on his own accord, stated on Twitter that he had nothing nice to say about EA, considered retirement, and then you shut his studio down without even informing him that would happen if he left. So, you know, everything just, you know, it's hunky-dory here in Battlefield Town. I'm sure that's nothing, guys. That's totally normal. And as for the rest of the statement where he touches on the resources and technology, hey, Andrew, I really hope you're right. Genuinely, I am hoping that statement has 100% solid truth behind it. Because, God, do we all know that the Battlefield franchise needs a better version of the Frostbite engine than we experienced in Battlefield 2042. So, these statements, very interesting from EA CEO, as always. Do let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below, and if you enjoy the content, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, drop by the stream, ladies and gentlemen. I stream every single day at twitch.tv slash enders and this very YouTube channel. Be sure to turn notifications on for when I go live. First link in the description. And if you want to join the Discord, follow the Instagram, or do anything else, all the other links are also in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.